Hi, this is Linda Dashu. Welcome aboard Cochise. We are surfing down the coast of Nova Scotia, heading for Maine. Even though the FPB 78 is optimized for going uphill, which you've seen in our other videos, Cochise is still efficient when surfing downwind, and we thought you might like to see what we can do when we follow the more traditional trade wind routes. With the wind and seas on the quarter, we are averaging 12.2 knots, burning 13 gallons of diesel per hour based on a 10 minute average. Keep in mind that this fuel burn includes the electrical and hydraulic power requirements. We've got 20 knots of breeze off the port quarter with wind waves of up to four to six feet. There's a crossing beam swell coming from a hurricane working its way up from the south. These are conditions typical of what you would find in a light trade wind passage. The faster we go, the more comfortable the ride. You can see for yourself just how much motion we have aboard Cochise. In these same conditions, if we slow down to 10.5 knots, fuel burn will drop to 7.5 gallons an hour, or 1.4 nautical miles per gallon. While this is a big difference, we will often choose to go faster as this reduces weather risks and often makes an afternoon arrival possible where a slower speed would require an additional night at sea. Cochise has a pair of six-cylinder John Deere diesels. At their commercial setting, M1, they are rated 230 horsepower, continuous, at 2300 RPM. We are turning 32-inch four-bladed props through a three-to-one reduction gear. Let's jump ahead a few hours. We are now passing the southern tip of Nova Scotia. This brings the sea directly astern, and we crank up the RPM from 1800 to 2100. Cochise responds with an increase in average speed to 14 plus knots, and fuel consumption goes to 15.5 gallons per hour. This works out to 9 tenths of a nautical mile per gallon. So, what can you do with this performance? Starting with the FEB 78's fuel capacity of 4,700 gallons, and then reducing this by 15% safety factor leaves a range of 3,700 nautical miles. That's substantially more than any transatlantic or transpacific passage. On a typical trade wind passage, we are able to average between 290 and 340 nautical miles per day. We get there quicker we are more comfortable going faster, and this is way more fun. This is probably a good time to say a bit more about range. Although fuel burn does go up as we increase speed, when the breeze is behind us and we have the waves to surf on, we can push the boat speed with surprisingly little impact on our fuel burn per nautical mile. If you're taking this approach on a long passage and conditions turn against you, there is always the option of slowing down to extend range. The positive impact of this level of speed on weather tactics and deciding where to go cannot be overstated. And it's way more fun. Jose, and we're heading for Maine and Smith Cove. 